of Jesus Christ. I just want us to thank God this, this moment, begin to spread the word. Let God arise in us this hour. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for who you are, who you represent, and who you will continue to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not his benefits. In Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Adore him, worship him, reference him. Give him all glory and all adoration. Let the name of the Lord be glorified right now in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless him this hour. Bless him. Bible says, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefit. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the opportunity that we have in you to be in your presence. The word said, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At the right hand of the Father, there are pleasures forevermore. I want you to appreciate God this hour. Wherever you are, just say thank you, Jesus. I want you to say thank you, Lord. Just keep saying that. Just appreciate him. He is God. There is none like him. God bless you. Today is a new day, a new hour, a new opportunity to do what God has called us to do, to be in his presence. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At the right hand of the Father, there are pleasures forevermore. Have your way, O Lord. Have your way, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to appreciate him. Call him name. He's almighty God. He's the I am that I am, ancient of days. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience God. There is none like him. There is none that will be compared unto him. Generations will come and go, but God remained the same. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for the rest none like you. Begin to spread the word. Call a friend to call a friend. Let's share this on our walls. Invite your friends, families, everyone that is in your sphere. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad to be part of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the moment, this is the hour. The Lord shall make himself mighty in all that we do. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Bless be thy holy name, O Lord, for who you are, who you represent, and who you will continue to be. Bless him this hour. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Continue to pray that prayer. Let God arise. I want you to say that to yourself. Let God arise in your family, in your life, and let all his enemies, all your enemies, let them begin to scatter. Scatter them everywhere they are. Everywhere they are. Scatter them, O oh Lord. No, Lord, arise and scatter my enemies. Scatter them. Scatter them. The Bible said, there is no weapon that is fashioned against you that shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against you in judgment, you shall likewise condemn. Today we condemn every tongue from the pit of hell in any form or way that is risen. We condemn you today by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. We condemn every tongue from the enemy, every tongue from our family, every tongue from the people that we know. We plead the blood upon our lives today. Let the blood begin to speak for you life. The blood can speak Help the Lord will speak prosperity. The Bible says He speaks better things. I begin to receive the better things of the blood right now by the fire and the authority in the name of Jesus. Let the blood begin to speak for you. Advancement, let the blood speak help. Let the blood speak deliverance today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ cover you. In all that you do, as you go out and come in, you shall be an embodiment of Christ. 
thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for who you are, who you represent, and who you will continue to be. Today is a day, the Bible said, except a corn of wheat fall to the ground and die, it abides alone. So the, I, I, that's why I target this point. This hour, the secret of spreading is that the secret of growth, I can put it that way also, is that on the way of death, that's why you that's where you go. You have to die to something today. Sacrifice. David said, Thy sacrifice is a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O oh Lord, thou will not despise. You will not despise every broken and a contrite heart. Do not despise us today. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we break our spirit for you, as we break our heart to you, we open ourselves up in the power of the Holy Ghost by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. You are God. There is none like you. Ancient of days, as old as you are. Lord, we thank you for life. We thank you for prosperity. We thank you for advancement. We thank you for there is no like you. We thank you for thy will. We thank you for thy power. We thank you for all that you are doing on every side. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. Bless me thy holy name, O Lord. Holy Spirit, move in our place. For the Bible says, in you we live, in you we move, and in you we have our being. We dwell inside of you. The Bible said, O oh, Lakanama, as you have chosen us in you before the foundations of the earth, before the foundations of the world, O oh, Lord Father, make a name for yourself. Today is the day, a day of celebration, a day of thy power, a day that you will show yourself great, a day that there is no one like you, a day that you manifest yourself strong in us, in every area. Begin to appreciate more the secret of spreading, of growth, of advancement is that dying to self. Romans chapter 12 verse 1, the Bible says, I beseech you brethren, by the mercies of God that you present yourself a living sacrifice unto the Lord, holy and acceptable, for this is your reasonable service. The moment you present yourself as something that can go, then God preserves you. He that tried to save his life will lose it. But he that loses his life, Jesus said, for my name's sake, shall preserve it, shall save it. The way of death is the way of growth, is the way of advancement, is the, is the way to power, is the way to, to growth in the spirit, is the way to knowing God. The Bible said, this is life eternal, that they might know thee. The only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want us to add some context to this and begin to see what God is saying at this time, how God is moving us. Moving, moving us upward, taking us to the place of where we are ought to be, the place of growth and stadium, where the power of God shall be visible, multiplying in everything in our lives. Blessed be the holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to have the word of God. The Bible said the entrance of the word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Lord, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let the word that we are hearing and speaking now not be an enticing word of a man, but let it be the word of God that we bring glory to thy holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. What a mighty God. What a great God. What an awesome God. O Lamagashi Kataba. Except a corn of wheat fall to the ground and die. Jesus said, it abided alone. John chapter 12 verse 24. Look at it. It's a very, 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 I say unto you except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abided alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. That means growth spreading. He that loveth his life shall lose it. 
and he that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. Let God arise, say, Lord, let my spirit man, my physical man, my appearance, my character, everything that is in me, on in between, die to you. The Bible said, O Lavagashikataba, Romans chapter 12. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body as we have come today, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. For this is your reasonable service. Every time you present yourself as a sacrifice, you go through the Holocaust, the Spirit of God burn you up with fire and take away everything that is not wanted. And you come out on the other side. Today, I yield unto the Holy Ghost. Lord, use me and bring forth glory to thy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want us to go further. In the book of Psalm 1, verse 1, the Bible said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. The Bible says he shall be like a tree, a tree that is planted. When you plant a seed, that seed will die. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in a season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. So the way upward, the way downward, the way spreadward, the way to grow is to die. Every seed that is planted, after a while, the seed will not be there anymore. The seed will break into pieces, become like the earth. And after a while, stems will begin to shoot out. Today, some of you are still in the development stage, the growth stage. Don't give up. Stay on to God. You might have not seen anything yet. And you are not seeing anything coming out. And you are saying, when shall this become? But it shall accept the corn of which die. He abided alone. It abided alone. In fact, Jesus went for that in Psalm 92. As David was writing in verse 12, the Bible said, And the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like the cedar of Lebanon. But in verse 13 of Psalm 92, those that be planted, in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Planting yourself is dying to self. Though that, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. To show that the Lord is upright, he is, he is my rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. In fact, if you go back and read the book of that same Psalm 51, verse 17, the Bible says, A broken and a contrite heart. Your sacrifice is a broken spirit. That means I yield my spirit unto you. Your sacrifice is a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh Lord, thou will not despise. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray some series of prayers now, but I want you to know that the way to God is to understand the secret place. I talked a little bit about it this morning, to be able to understand the dark cloud. When you see darkness, sometimes it's not all evil. You look deeper, you stay in that place until you begin to see light come out of it. Many of us, every time we face a challenge, we come to the place of evil and we flee. How long will you continue to run? How long will the devil keep setting you up? Are you moving from one place to the other? You can't grow like that. Every time somebody looks at you and says something, you change church, you change city. Every time you have a breakup in relationship, you move. No, you can't keep moving and grow. After a while, you move until you, you don't have anywhere to move again because you are old. But I'm telling you today, you have to stand firm and fight the devil in his own game. You have to fight him. In that land, when Jesus was killed, in the same land of Jerusalem, and the Bible says when he resurrected, after the third day, he came to them in the upper room and gave them the secret because now the land has been polluted. After killing Jesus, there is nobody they cannot kill. The Jews were emboldened. The Roman soldiers, everybody had courage now. But Jesus said, tarry you in the city of Jerusalem. Stay in this place until you are endued with power. Luke chapter 24, verse 49. Tarry in this city. 
stay put and fight it out until you are endued with power, until something comes upon you. In Acts 1 8, the Bible says, Jesus said, And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witness. Let me tell you something there is power in the mountain, and God can come from the mountain, and He's also a God of the valley. God can be the God of the mountain top, and He can be the God of the valley. The Bible says, He will come upon you. When the Spirit of God comes upon a man, let the Spirit of God rest upon you right now. Begin to pray that prayer. Lord, let your spirit come upon me. Rest upon me right now. By fire, by force. By the authority in the name of Jesus. The way up is down. The way to grow in the spirit. The way to grow in the Lord is to die to self. Dying to self. Once you die to self, the devil cannot kill you anymore. He knows that what he comes to you with is telling you that he will die. And many people are so scared of death, so they can do anything to keep alive. But when you try to keep your life, Jesus said, you will lose it. You have to die to self. The Bible said the flesh and the spirit are contrary to one another. They can never agree. Once you overcome your flesh, you have overcome everything. It is hard to overcome flesh. But when you overcome it, that is when you begin to locate the secret place. Psalm 25 verse 14, the Bible says, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Lord, show me your covenant. Show me your covenant. Pray that prayer. Show me your covenant. There's something to know. You can never know God by information. God can only reveal himself to you. It doesn't matter who you are. The only way to know him is for him to reveal himself to you. Makataraba. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. He will reveal something to you. Oh Lord, show me your covenant. Show me the way. Show me what you want me to do. Show me how I should go. Psalm 18, verse 11. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion ran about him with dark waters and thick clouds in the sky. So darkness, God stays, covers himself in darkness. That is his secret place. If the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, the people that fear God will understand darkness. You have to go travel very long in the spirit to begin to understand that light came out of darkness. It is not the opposite. Light did not come from the top. Light came out of darkness. In the mix of death and polluted air, the Bible says light sat upon their head. When they were afraid, they couldn't even go out. They were scared to death. They were hiding in the upper room. In that place of fear and anguish, light came upon them. Let the light of God come upon you today. Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When you are dwelling there, it's like you are not doing anything. You are not advancing. They were just in the upper room for 50 days. And after 50 days, they took over the whole world. Sometimes God will take you away from the cloud, from the crowd of people, from the crowd of your bubble, from the crowd of your activities that you have created for yourself to his own cloud. When God takes you that place, it is a place of isolation. Sometimes you don't have anybody to talk to. It's not that you are so mean that you want to cut yourself off, but most times it is by the leading of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says oftentimes Jesus will separate himself from the disciples and he will go into a solitary place and pray. Sometimes the Bible says, and when he has entered into the mountain, how can you enter into the mountain? Mountain, you climb it, but the Bible says, Jesus will enter into the mountain and stay there for a while. Let the power that created the heavens and the earth begin to come upon you right now. He that dwells in the secret place of the Mosai shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let God arise. Begin to abide under his shadow today. That all of Bogasakataba, when you understand the way to death to self, that is when you begin to understand the mystery of growth and spreading. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 16. The Bible says, Who only? God is the only one that dwells in immortality, dwelling in light which no man can approach. He dwells in an unapproachable light, unto whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. He has all. 
No man can see him. No man has seen, seen him. He got all power and glory by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' party, they will pray. Who only has immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach? God sits at eternity. He is dwelling in the light which is unapproachable because you can't see him. That light is called darkness. Oh, Labagashi Kataba. Uh, have you traveled in the places when you begin to discover something out of nothing? When Moses went to Horeb and he began to discover God in the mountain top, he has walked in that mountain for more than 40 years. He's supposed to have known every nook and corner. But the Bible said in Hebrew chapter 11, verse 23, for by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid in three months of his parents because they saw he was a a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. Bible says, by faith, Moses, when he was come of years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Oh, Labagashi Katababa, esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasure in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. That's what he said. By faith, he forsook Egypt. Do you know what it means to be called the prince of Egypt? He forsook Egypt. He forsook the palace, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he had, for he endured as seeing him who was invisible. He saw an invisible God, a God that cannot be seen, but he saw him by revelation. So he has to go through what he has to go through. Let that revelation of God begin to come to you right now. The one that when Jesus said, who do men say I am? Matthew chapter 16, and Peter stood up in verse 18 and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus looked at him and said, Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But my father, which is in heaven. So the only way to know God is by revelation, and it must be revealed to you by the Father. And he said, And you are Peter, Petrus, little rock, upon this rock, which is myself, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Today, every gate of hell, by fire, by force, that is trying to prevail against you, against your ministry, against your business, against your job, against your family, we cancel it now. We cancel it now. We cancel it now. We cancel it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And he said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. I will give you the keys. So there are many keys to this kingdom. We have talked about a few of them. But I want you to know that when you have keys, you have to find the doors. Every key represents a door or a gate in the spirit. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. Oh, Labagasi, Katababa. Exodus 33. Look at verse 9. We are reading to 15, but we are going to skip some things. The Bible says, it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloud pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. And the people saw the cloud pillar standing at the door and all the people rose up and worshiped every man in his tent door. Verse 11, and the Lord spoke unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of whom, a young man departed not out of the tabernacle. So when Moses goes into the tabernacle of the congregation, which they later started calling the tabernacle of Moses. God told him to build that tabernacle so he can 
commune with the children of Israel. But because of the manifestation of God and the power of God that was available there, they were so afraid. Many of them don't want to die. God was, that was the tabernacle of the congregation for the children of Israel. So every time Moses is going to the tabernacle, they will stand at the doors of their tent. Say, Moses is going again. And when they, he gets in with Joshua, the cloud will come down. And the people will be standing at the doors of their tent worshiping. Why are you staying away from church? Especially after COVID, it's not a thing anymore. People are still dying. I'm not disputing the sickness or the what the rot of COVID. But we have hope and excellent power in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. People want to stay at the doors of their tent and watch from the internet. And while you are cooking, you are watching. While you are eating dinner, you are watching. There is difference. The light that shines brighter at the farthest shines much brighter at his face. The light that shines brighter at his farthest shines much, much brighter at the face. So many of you have access to the temple. Why stand in the door of your tent? Oh, Labaga, this is a message for another day. But God will help us. The people stand there and look. And the Bible says, and God speak to Moses face to face. When Moses said, I can't just go until you agree to go with me. This guy was, he has some nerves and guts to talk to God. I'm not going nowhere until you go. In verse 13, he said, now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in this sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. So he reminded God, and the Bible said God told him, and he said unto him, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Verse 15, and he said unto him, if thy presence go with me, carry us not up thence. My presence shall go. Moses demanded that God was responding immediately. If I find favor in you, if I find grace, show me some, show me signs. That's what a man was telling God. God said, don't worry, I will go with you. I will go with you. Some of you today, you are leaving this conference. You are leaving this prayer. You are coming out. You are going to come out with the presence of God. The Bible says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At the right hand of the Father, there are pleasures forevermore. Oh, my God, Sakataba. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 2. You read down to 6. When Saul came to the house of Samuel, with his father's servant, to look for their father's donkey that was missing. And Samuel says, stay with me till tomorrow. I'll tell you why you came. In verse 2 of 1 Samuel chapter 10, and when he was after he has prayed for him and anointed him, told him who he is and told him what is going to happen. The Bible says, and when thou art departed, Samuel was prophesying now, departed from me today, then thou shalt find two men by Rachel's Shemuka. Saul was a Benjamite. Rachel died without knowing how Benjamin would grow. It was significant that God I have to mention that place, the burial site of Rachel. You will go by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin at Selza, and there will say unto thee, The ass which thou seekest are found. And lo, thy father had left the case of the ass and saw it for you, saying, What shall I do for my soul? But look at verse 3. Then shall thou go forward. From tents, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and they sh shall meet thee. Three men going up to Bethel. These men were going on their way to pray. One carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. And they shall salute thee, verse 4, and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shall receive of their hand. This guy just came out from the house of the prophet and people are saluting him. People are giving him gifts. You are coming out to enter into divine elevation. The glory of God shall come upon you right now. In verse 5, I want to read up to 6. 
after thou shall come unto the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines, and it shall come to pass, when thou come hither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with psaltery and tablets and pipes and harps before them they shall prophesy. And verse 6, And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and thou shalt turn into another man. Say, O Lord, this hour, turn me to another man, turn me to another woman, turn me to the person that you want me to be, right now, by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lamagashi Kotobo, Magodoro Borika Namasaka Tabak, because you have contacted God, there's an encounter with you and the Holy Ghost. You shall turn. He said, and thou shalt receive the Holy Ghost. Oh, la, la, la. And the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee. And thou shalt prophesy with them. And thou shalt turn into another man. And shall turn into another man. Holy Spirit, turn me to another person. Turn me to the man or woman, the person you want to be. You want me to be. The person you want me to stand for. The person you want me to represent in the kingdom right now, by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus. I was telling us today that the way up is down. The secret of spreading is to die. Let's Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11. Now, all these things happen unto them, for example, and they were written for our admonition, admonition, that for us to admonish it, to know about it. For us to reference, for us to reference it. Admonition is to reference upon whom the end of the world are come. It is written for our admonition. Today, receive the grace of God. Receive the power of God. Second Corinthians chapter 4, 13. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believe, and therefore have I spoken. Paul was writing to the church. We also have believed today, and therefore we shall speak the word in season and out of season. We shall speak without fear or favor. We shall speak because the Lord is with us. Romans chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible says, concerning the Son of God, the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. So by the flesh, Jesus was the seed of David. And declared to be the son of God by power. So by flesh is the seed of David. By power he was the son of God with power. According to the spirit of holiness. By resurrection from the dead. So he became the son of God. According to the Holy Spirit. By resurrection. By whom we have received grace. And apostleship. For obedience. To the faith among all nations. For his name. Jesus, Jesus Christ was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. That was his genealogy. But in the spirit, the Bible said he became son of God. First John chapter 5, verse 8, verse 4. First John chapter 5, verse 4. The Bible said, For whosoever is born of God, Overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. I want to pray with us right now. As we are overcomers, let God arise. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 and 15, wrotting out the handwriting and ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way. Nailing it in his cross and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly. Some translations say publicly. I want you to know that. Triumphing over them in it. Jesus made a public show, a triumphant, openly show of the devil. We are going back to where we were when he created the heavens and the earth. 
Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. The Bible says, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Ali Gunobo Shakataba. Rebaga Shikataba Baba. Verse 19. He said, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who we'll believe according to the working of his mighty power? Verse 20. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him in his own right hand in heavenly places, which we are sitting with him. Far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Verse 22. And he has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him. That feel it all in all. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. I want you to pray this hour. Say, God, make me mightier than my enemies. Genesis 26, verse 16. The Bible says, And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art mightier than we are. Make me mightier than my enemies. Make me mightier. Than my contemporaries. Make me mightier than people that are attacking me. Make me mightier than everyone that is against me. Make me mightier. The Bible said in the book of Psalm 23, the Lord shall prepare a table for me before me in the presence of my enemy. The Lord shall anoint your head with oil and the shall overflow. Make me mightier than my enemies right now by fire by force in the name of Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Be made a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is every man that hangeth upon the tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Ask God, O Lord, for I brought out every transgression in me. God has redeemed us. Turn every cause and you in my life into your blessings. He has redeemed us from the cause of the land. God, turn every cause in my life. Remember when we began, except the cause of wheat fall to the ground and die, it abided alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. You shall bring forth much fruit. You shall bring forth much fruit by fire by force in the name of Jesus you shall bring forth not just fruit but much fruit you shall bring forth you shall bring forth great fruit hallelujah right now receive the power receive the grace receive the anointing to produce to bring forth there is a power for the heavens when it comes upon you everything about you begin to evolve the Lord shall change the status quo in your life. He shall make you mighty. This is the hour. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the power of God. Le Bogo Shakatra. Mage de Rebali Kadabasi Kotobo. Le Bogo Shokotobobo. Rababa. Makatara Basi Kataba. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. It is done now. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Let the favor of God turn upon you. Everything you do begin to work for you. Let the heavens and the earth begin to favor you. The land that you are standing upon shall bring forth. The Bible says, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Lord, you said, I will hear from heaven. I will come down and I will heal their land. Today, hear us, O Lord, and come down today and heal our land. Thank you, Jesus, for it is done now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be thy holy name, O Lord. La Bogo Bless me, thy holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to pray with you if you are here today, you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's why we are here. The Bible says, 
Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If we confess the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in our heart that he died and resurrected for our sins, we shall be saved. So I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus Christ, I confess you as my Lord and Savior, and I believe in my heart that you died and resurrected for me from my sins. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Jesus Christ, come into my life. I pray with you right now. Whatever is the situation in your life, if you are sick in the body, if you are not where you ought to be in life, if there's anything following or pursuing you, hindering you, I pray, lift up your head, O ye gates, and believe, stand up you everlasting doors upon the daughter of God, that the King of glory shall come in. Every partition, every wall, everything holding you bound, let it be broken now. The Bible says he has broken the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall make himself mighty upon you. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not beneath. I ask for divine deliverance to come upon you. The Bible says upon man, Zion shall be delivered from the crown of your head to the sole of your foot. Be delivered from every power from the pit of hell. The Bible says, and he commanded his disciples and give them power against unclean spirit. Every unclean spirit in you, come out of her. Come out of him now. Lose them and let them go. By fire, by force, every sin or sickness, whatever it is that the devil has plagued you with, from the crown of your head to the sole of your foot, I pray for divine healing now. Receive the healing of God. Receive it. Let the spirit of God begin to residence in you. Dwell in the secret place of the Most High. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. You need more, write to us. Let us know what, where you are and what you are doing. We can connect with you. You need prayers, get connected to this ministry. Write to me. We are mobile. We can be able to reach you wherever you are. But if you need a location, you are in Georgia and Atlanta. We have our location. Look at us. God's time assembly. And I want to shake your hand. Come. And God will do great and mighty things in your life. I love you all with all my heart. But above all, Jesus loves you the more. But I want you to know the first thing in the kingdom is deliverance. The Bible says, Upon man's Zion shall be deliverance. You need to be delivered. Get in contact with us. And your life will never be the same again. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. I'll see you tomorrow.